So it's always fun to finish off our lesson uh, with a little game or a little bit of competition. So for this part, you're gonna need some tennis balls or some other footballs or go and make yourself several soft balls. You need about five or six of these, maybe a few more to make this game quite fun. Okay, so this game is called Gauntlet. It's called Gauntlet because you have to try and stay inside your area as things are going to be coming past you and whizzing past you. You need those ball manipulation skills to make sure the things that are coming towards you don't touch your ball, okay? You also need a partner for this one, someone that's gonna roll balls towards you. They're only looking to roll them, they're not trying to throw them at you very hard, but they're rolling the ball towards your ball and seeing if you can use your manipulation skills to dodge the ball that's coming through, okay? So I've got somebody over here uh, with me now that's gonna roll the balls towards me. My job is to try and keep the ball away from them. So as the balls come in, I'm gonna try and dodge the balls as they're coming through, moving out the way of them sock balls, using some of those different manipulations that we worked on, keeping out the way of it, trying to stay inside the grid if I can. If we find it a bit easier, I can start to speed up the pace the balls coming in that. Again, using those balance, coordination skills, kind of keep the ball away from the skills that are coming in. Okay, so that's Gauntlet. Give it a go. Okay, so the next game is called King of the Grid. You can see that I'm extending my square out slightly, making it a little bit larger. And I've also introduced a cone or a marker in the middle. A cone or a marker in the middle, that is going to be the goal or the target. There's no reason you can't just place another one of your sock balls in the middle to do that. Now for this game, you are gonna need a partner. So you need to ask your mums and dads or your brothers and sisters to come and play with you. The aim of the game is to manipulate the ball using that close ball control and those balance skills that we've practiced to knock over the marker. However, it's not that simple. The person you are playing against is going to try and block you and stop you from doing that. And the person you're playing against is not allowed to tackle you, but they are allowed to use their balance skills to try and get in the way of you knocking the marker down. So to try and show you this, I've asked my daughter to come and help me. Ayla, can you just come and step into the grid for me? I don't know what she's wearing, but she's got a unicorn onesie on today. Okay, Ayla's job is to not kick the ball, but to try and stop me hitting that target in the middle. So Ayla, when I say go, I'm gonna try and manipulate the ball. You've gotta stop me from getting to that marker. So I can use these close ball uh, skills, those ball controls to try and get her out of the way. Kind of try and create a space to get round, get myself towards that marker. If I can get the ball on the marker, can I do it, can I do it? If I can get the ball on the marker, I win the game, I score the point. Now obviously if my ball goes out of the grid, then Ayla gets the chance to be the attacker and I have to become the defender. Rules for this one, defenders, you're not allowed to tackle, you're only allowed to block, so using those balance skills and practicing our warm up. Attackers, you've got to use those close ball manipulation skills to try and get your partner off balance to create a chance to try and score and hit the target. Give it a go, let us know how you get on. So moving on to our last game for today. Our last game is called Garden Football. As a child, me and my brother would play this for hours in the garden. We had one small tennis ball, we had two garden chairs, and the garden became the football pitch. Now, depending on how much space you've got, you guys can play football anywhere. Now, you can see here, I've manufactured my own small football pitch. I've got two markers at the front that are just out of shot, two markers at the back, that gives me my parameters. And I've also got a goal here with a purple cone, and a goal here with a red cone. You can make those goals as big or as small as you like. Now the object of this is to play against another person to see if you can knock over their cone. Again, trying to keep the balls in the parameter of the pitch, but looking to use those different ball manipulations to outwit your opponent, to create an opportunity to knock the cone down. If you do that, you guys score the point, you win the game. More like a real game of football now, but in a tight area, can we try and keep the ball using those balance skills, using those close ball control and dribbling skills, who can create as many goals as they possibly can, beating their brothers or sisters if possible. A bit of competition is always a little bit healthy. Good luck, give it a go, let us know how you get on. So, that's the end of our lesson for today. By the end of today's lesson, you should have achieved our four lesson objectives. Lesson objective one, to know and to define what balance is. Lesson objective two, to create and compose your own skill score video showing the skills that you've developed throughout today's session. Lesson objective number three was to do with our hands and we've developed our close ball control 
We've developed our ability to manipulate the ball in a tight area, and we've also developed some of our balance skills. And to be successful today, you've had to show your heart value of determination, where you have to keep focused and keep going, developing those skills. Remember, with practice, anything is possible.